Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about signs in Omron PLC. So before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates and videos. Subroutine. So it's like a functions in you know uh, software programming, like uh, in Python or C, C++ and all. We will be writing the function. Whenever you want to repeat some task, you will be writing that in the function and whenever you want you will be calling that function same like that in ladder logic we can able to write a set of you know instruction or a task inside one uh, subroutine and whenever you want you can call that subroutine okay so it's like a function in ladder logic all right so we have subroutine and subroutine entry and subroutine return so all these three instructions are combined if you are if you want to use a subroutine concept you have to use all three instruction in your ladder logic so the instruction will be looking like this and how to find out which subroutine you are referring to by using the subroutine number so we have to assign the subroutine number for the each subroutine and whenever you want you can call by its number okay so first we have to use the subroutine okay it's bs and you have to call that by using some run condition over here and if this number n is matching with the subroutine it will perform the task which is inside this subroutine okay and you have to end the subroutine using the return function so by using this subroutine region you can able to fix okay this is the function we have to perform if it is called like that all right so let's see that in the ladder logic okay so i'm going to have some run before calling the subroutine it's like our normal uh, you know task it's like a normal run okay so now you are going to call the subroutine so to call the subroutine, we have to use S, B, S in the number of your subroutine. Okay. I'm assigning that subroutine as 0. Okay. All right. So now you have to write the subroutine. So for that, you have to enter it. Enter into the subroutine first. SBN is the subroutine enter. Okay. And now you can write the function. You can do some addition, subtraction, what and all you want, you can write. As of now, I'm going to perform just a digital operation. Just that, and here you can end it. Done. You can write multiple lines also. It's for example, only I'm just explaining this. So I'm ending my function. That's it. Okay, now go for the simulation. Okay, now. So now we are going to perform this function. See, just turn on this output. Your output is on. Why? Because I have used both the same input. I just change that first. Because your subroutine is called, so it is performing. Now, if you turn on this 0 0.06, your output will not be in on condition. Look at that. Your output is off because the function is not called yet. Calling in the sense what? You have to make this condition true. That's it. That's what I'm meaning that is calling. See, once you called that, your output is on. For example, you turn off this and you turn off this. 
your output will not go to off condition because you cannot be able to turn on and turn off until the function is called okay if you call the function automatically output will go off because your input condition is off okay so this is how subroutine will work and how about this this will be working as normal run whenever you want you can turn on whenever you want you can turn off this is independent okay so this is how subroutine is working in home run plc and what if if you are not using the return condition let's see compile it and you can see there is an error here look at this invalid sbn end in sbn so return is must without that you cannot be able to perform okay what if you have not called the function i have cut the sbs the calling of the function i have done the i have edited see there is a zero error that means what the program is accepting the way you have written but when it comes to the operation it will not turn on your output because you have not called the function simple right this is not throwing an error that you have to put sbs before sbn but it is not showing there is a error okay so sbs is also mandatory one what if you have not entered the function now it will show an error see error sbn is not defined okay so like this you can understand the working of subroutine and what you can use the nested subroutines also so i'll show you how to use that so write one more sbn one So write any condition here. Just connect some output. Okay. All right. So return. And for this calling, I'm going to put inside that subroutine. Before that, we have written one subroutine. No, I'm going to put here. Yes. B is one. I'm going to call here. This is nested. See, I'm turning on my mm -hmm. I'll turn this second subroutines uh, function. Your output is off because it's not called yet. Correct. So let's call this SBS1. Let's call this. Let's call this, but still your output is off. Why? Because you have given the subroutine inside the subroutine. So you have to call this subroutine first. Correct. You call this first. Your output is automatically getting update. Okay. This is called as nested subroutine. See. I have put the subroutine here. You have to put the different number. All right. So this return is for the first subroutine you have used. So the return you have used, the first return you have used is for the sub subroutine. Zero. The second return is for the second subroutine you have declared. All right. So this is how subroutine will be working in home run PLC. I hope you have understand the concept. 
kindly like and subscribe our channel for more videos and updates. I'll meet you in the next session. Thank you.